an ongoing partnership to combat crime. Chattanooga police say they work with a division called the Chattanooga Housing Authority Police on a daily basis to ensure safety in public housing developments. Good evening, I'm Calvin Snade. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Today, Police Chief Fred Fletcher met with the board of the Chattanooga Housing Authority. Hannah Lawrence was there. She joins us now with the details. Hannah. Calvin, Latricia, Chief Fletcher came to talk to the Housing Authority today about what they can do to keep violence at a minimum within the walls of their properties. Chattanooga Housing Authority Police Chief Felix Vest says the biggest problem within public housing is violence. Uh, just a lot of people want to fight. Wilbert Roberts Jr. serves on the Chattanooga Housing Authority board. The projects don't have no monopoly, you know, on violence. Uh, you may get a few more where the density of people. CHA met with Police Chief Fletcher to discuss how to manage crime this afternoon. You know, you tighten it up in one area and it tends to break out in another area. Chief Vest says 70% of crime in public housing developments is caused by those who don't live there. They want to come to the public housing communities to say, hey, we want to cause crime here, but we want to go back on Brainerd Road and lay our head down because we don't want the trouble to happen at our house. Now police say they're committed to keeping those people out. Officers can verify who lives there. Chief Fletcher's suggestion to the Housing Authority today put up more cameras and more lighting. And they're on the ground along with my officers to get to know who is there, to know who belongs and who doesn't. Vest says some of the communities got cameras around eight years ago, but the systems need updated. The camera can be a witness to a crime and also used in court. Robert says the only problem is those cameras can be expensive. Board members like Roberts say they would like to add as many cameras as possible if they can get the funding. Okay, thanks, Hannah.